So we're going to finish uh, chapter 7 here. It says, um, Meditation produces success. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe and do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and you shall deal wisely and have good success. Mm. Mm hmm. So that was from Joshua 1.18. If you want to be a success and prosper in all your dealings, the Bible says you need to meditate on the Word of God day and night. And the amount of time you spend thinking about the Word of God, how much time should you spend? If you're having problems in an area of your life, an honest answer to this question may disclose the reason why. So for a lot of life, Joyce didn't think about what she was thinking about. <laughs> you know, me too, I simply thought about whatever fell into my head. I had no revelation that Satan could inject thoughts into my mind. A lot of what was in my mind was either lies that Satan was telling me or just plain rubbish. Things that were really not worth spending my time thinking about. So the devil or demons were controlling my life because he was controlling my thoughts. So it's really important. I know this sounds like, Ooh, but I promise you anything negative or destructive or unloving towards yourself is demonic. And, you know, if you think of it that way, to make it in simple terms, let's call it, let's do this really kindergarten that you say everything evil and bad and nasty and horrid and damaging is from the devil and everything that's good and loving and special and wise and and uplifting and healthy is God, right? So in that case, we have to be careful what we're thinking about because if we're thinking about negative things, Willie Nevy, not even aware of it, but we're in a whole pity party downward spiral, it means we've given our minds over to the devil, right? So I'm not trying to be religious here. I'm just trying to be very simplistic and explain how and why religion, how religion is meant to work, how it's really meant to work and how to apply it today and in modern society. Think about what you're thinking about. Uh, you know, we can't if we behave according to our flesh, you know, again, that's our corrupt nature, our corrupted sensual nature, um, obeying the impulses of the flesh and the thoughts of the mind. Um, in Ephesians 2, Paul warns us here that we're not to be governed by a sensual nature or to obey the impulses of our flesh and the thoughts of our carnal minds. Um, Although, although a Christian, I have trouble sometimes. And uh, Joyce says she had troubles because she hadn't learned to control her thoughts. I thought about things that kept my mind busy, but they weren't productive in a positive way. So I, we need to change our thinking. One thing the Lord told Joyce when he began teaching her about the battlefield of the mind became a major turning point for her. He said, Think about what you're thinking about. It sounds so simple, right? But what are you thinking about? Think about it now. Because as you start to do so, it won't be long before you begin to see why you're having so much trouble in your life. 